This video will cover the topic rewriting an algebraic expression without a negative exponent. What's the difference between a positive and a negative exponent? Great question. The biggest difference between a positive and a negative exponent is that for a negative exponent we are going to need to find the reciprocal of that exponent in order to make the negative exponent into a positive exponent. How would that work? Well, there are two rules that we need to follow in order to make the negative exponent into a positive exponent. If our exponent is a to the power of negative n, in order to make it positive, we would move the variable n exponent from the numerator to the denominator. This would give us 1 divided by a to the power of n. The second rule deals with a negative exponent in the denominator. If we have 1 divided by a to the power of negative n, we would move our variable and exponent from the denominator to the numerator to make the exponent positive. This would get us a to the power n. I'm starting to get the concept, but could we go over some example problems? Of course, let's start with the example problem, negative 4 times m to the power of negative 5. Since the negative exponent is in the numerator, we are going to follow rule 1 and move the exponent to the denominator to make it positive. This gets us our final answer of negative 4 divided by m to the power of 5. Wait, why wouldn't the negative 4 also move to the denominator? If we look at our exponent, it is only attached to our m variable. If there were parentheses around the negative 4 and m, this would indicate that our exponent is attached to both. We only move numbers or variables that are attached to the negative exponent. Now that we have gone over the concept and have done one example problem, would you like to try an example problem that relates to rule 2? I think I'm ready. Great, your problem is 1 divided by 3 times y to the power of negative 4. Well, if we follow rule 2, then in order to make the negative exponent into a positive, we would move the exponent from the denominator to the numerator. The 3 would stay in the denominator since it is not attached to our negative exponent. This would get us our final answer of y to the power of 4 over 3. Fantastic!